Hey guys, girls, and those who are still undecided, it's your boy, Egg Guy on the Fro, but you already know. We got a battle here with uh, some friend of mine called, who's a friend of mine whose name is SCD. I always want to call him Sid for some reason, but SCD. I'll have to ask him what it means later. It's an OU battle. He's using a pretty weird team, to say the least. Scizor, Breloom are going to be annoying. He trained the Lando and the Zumro are also going to be annoying. Everything on the team is going to be annoying. What am I saying? Then he has Mew. Mew usually annoys me that I didn't bring a Mew counter on this team. Usually my Mew counter would be Gengar, but it's whatever will make it work. As you see, I brought um, a Salamence, Terrakion. He trained <laughs> my Lando, named Orlando Bloom, and um, Clefable and a Quagsire. Now, this is not scarfed like I was using before in a previous battle. This is actually, I think this is um, oh, this is lefties. This is a lefties or this is the lefties Orlando Bloom. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm using the AV uh, Salamence as well. I made that setup when I was bored, and I just wanted to see how it would work out. But this Lando, from what I'm guessing, is a uh, scarfed maybe. Or either that, he just won the speed tie for the first round. But um, he knocked off my lefties, which isn't that big of a deal. Lando just comes in and does what he wants for the most part. His only job is to set up rocks and then switch out to do something else with hazards. He goes into scissor. I'm guessing this is mega scissor. It is, because I didn't knock off an item. And I'm going to go into Heatran, because Heatran is a good stop to scissor. Yeah, the bullet punch does absolutely nothing. Get the fuck out of here, Scizor. Now, he's probably going to switch it to his own Heatran. And I'm going to double out into... I'm going to double out into my own uh, Lando. Or Lando Bloom. Oh, he goes into Zumaru. That's a, not a bad play at all. That has lefties. Um, hmm, I don't know what to do to this thing, so I'm just going to U-turn. As it protects, I guess he was scouting to see what I would do. So lefty set, which is weird, because most of them are either banded or have citrus berry belly drum, and the AV Azumarill is starting to become popular now. So this is going—I don't know what he's going to do. But I'm gonna go into Quagsire since it is my physical wall and Whirlpool. He did tell me these were like kind of gimmicky sets he was running, but I—this is weird. I'm gonna scald. Parish song. Ah. So this is what like to face my Gengar, except it's a Zoomer where it wants that. So he's gonna Parish song my Quag. Ah, damn, that sucks. I didn't want to lose Quag, but then again, if there was any person on this team who was sackable, it would have been Quagsire. Just for the reason being that Quagsire does nothing. Uh, to um like four of his mods like a uh, like it stops sizzle well but I have heat train for that Breloom yeah Breloom would eat it alive Lando checks pretty well but that's whatever I'm a toxic twice so he goes into Breloom I'm hoping is not it's technician and not poison heal it is poison heal okay whatever that's fine it's completely fine he's going to spore me and I know but I'm going to go in with Trusty and uh, Calm Mind. Am I going to Calm Mind? Let's see. That uh, stupid ass Azumarill was going to cause me problems with the trap. He's going to trap me. Then Yeah, that's going to cause me problems. But uh, I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, which is straight out. Actually, no. I'm going to go for a Moonblast straight out. Oh, no. Never mind. Flamethrower. I predicted the switch. That's what I'm calling. I'm calling that right now. I predicted the switch. Can't take that away from me. Y'all don't know if I didn't predict it or not. You have no idea. I just said I didn't predict the switch. But you know, I could be lying. I lie all the time. Yeah. So I predicted that switch. Um Ooh, nice background. Using a different layout for the showdown this time. Hopefully you guys like it. Um he just doing I don't know what he's gonna do with me. Trick room. Oh, I like this. I like this already. His heat trend is probably gonna be a sweeper. Uh okay, okay. This is, I don't know how I feel about this, because I need trust, I need trusty alive 
to take out Breloom and he'll it'll do a decent chunk to Zumaro as well. Um the flash can is coming and he has a trick room up. I don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and sack Orlando Bloom just because it has no more reason to stay in here. Because I know he has Flash Cannon. If he's a sweeping type of heat train, his moves are probably Flash Cannon, Lava Plume, or Fire Blast, Earth Power. He might be running like Hidden Power Ice for ground, but I'm not sure. Oh, hold up. And we're back. I just had to pay these bills because I had a show to do. <laughs> Anyways, I wonder what's taking him so long to decide on what to do with heat train. I don't know what he's thinking about right now. Maybe he's thinking about how much a flash cannon will do to uh, Clefay by a plus three at this point. I know a moon blast won't do shit to it, and I can't touch it with flame forward. This is um my more offensive set. It gets completely walled by Heat Train, but then again, I don't want to give up any other the moves on it to replace it with something that could hit Heat Train, like HP ground or something. So as we wait for him to make a move. Hopefully he makes a move fast. Bruh. Hurry up. Just I'm going to pause until he makes a move. Okay, we're back. Um, Turns out that it wasn't him taking so long to, take a, to make a move. It was just the fact that Showdown shit the bid because it's been going four days straight at this point. Um, He used Eruption and completely just killed. Um, He completely killed my Lando. I'm going to protect with he trying to, with the he trying on my own just see what he's going to do. If he has Earth Power, he might not. For all we for all I know, he could just be um just a weird set with uh like specs or something with a uh, eruption. But I'm not too sure. Actually when did a trick room set up there? One turn, two turns. So this will be the third turn in the trick room. Okay, the way he switched out, it makes me think that he is that he is ha that he does have something with um I'm a Willowist that he does have um specs because just based on that damage, and since Trick Room's up, I get a Willowisp up, and he's Stone Edge is predicting Solomon to come in. I'm guessing. So, oh, and the sun's still up. Let me see. The sun's still up. This lava will do a decent chunk. I also forgot that he added up sun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twisted so dimensions turn back to normal, but the sun is still up. So I'm a lava plume. Let's see what he's gonna go into. He's going into the heat train of his own, which is fine. I'm going to protect to see what it wants to do again. He's going for earth power. I'm assuming he specs just based off of what I know. Because if he wasn't specs, he would have switched out and went for uh, Earth Power to begin with. Yeah, he is specs. Some form of specs. Um, he goes into Lando. I don't want to take a Stone Edge, even though he's burned. I still just don't want to take one. I'm going to my own uh, Terrakion. This Terrakion is a choice scarfed, as usual, for the most part. If I, if I ever run into Rakion, it's a nine times out of ten going to be scarfed. Except now he knocked off, but that gave me a justify boost, so I'll take the trade. Now I can go for whatever move he wants to completely wreck the rest of the scene with it. Because there's nothing he can pretty much do. If he goes into Mew, I'm going to still outspeed it and hit it with an X as a hard, and it might kill it. Holy kill I don't know what the life is Mew on. Mew's at a. Uh, Come on, show me, show, whatever, it won't show me. I'm going to assume so at like 88% or something like that. Because I didn't, uh, to my not, to what I remember, I didn't hit it at all. Um, hmm. What's, now, he has the ultimate decision what he's going to do next. Um, I'm guessing he's thinking of whether he wants to go into the Zoom room. He goes into Breathing. I don't agree with that switching because Breathing is dead. Um, now he's stuck with. He has to go into Azumaru to have a chance. He goes into Lando. Makes me think his Lando was scarfed. Like I thought earlier, his Lando could be scarfed. If he's going to go for an EQ, it'll let me know for sure. Which I assume is. Ha which I predict is going to happen. Let's go to EQ. Yes, okay, so his Lando is scarfed. 
which means the burn on the was great. Now that he can't hit me, I guarantee you he's switching into his Umro, predicting my dragon move or something. But the thing is, I don't want to risk that switch. And I know he has to switch. So, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to Earthquake. As my prediction does come true about him going to Zimmer, which is completely fine, and that means I get to go into. Hmm, what can I go into? I could go into Trusty, because Trusty is my one of my main stops to this Zimmer. This is going to Whirlpool me, which is completely fine. It's been going to Paris on me, but I go. I can go for a Moonblast. See how much it does. That doesn't good chunk which is what I want he can only protect now because if he doesn't protect now and I kill it it might yeah he'll definitely die so he needs to protect the switch either way I'm getting out of this parish home but trust me because I believe Whirlpool only lasts for how long the Pokemon who used it is in I don't think it has a set number of turns protect whatever he's going to die to the toxic this turn Yep, that's a dead toxic. Whirlpool ended like I figured it would. Now, I'm going to go into Salamence. That's named Princess Sally because of uh, Suicide Salamence, the user in the uh, chat room. This isn't her set, I just named Salamence after just because. And uh, now he can't do anything. He just has to sit and watch me kill the rest of his team. Um, he goes into Lando, that's dead. I just went for a Dragon Claw just because the only thing he could do now is set up a Twisted Dimensions, a Trick Room, and hopefully that'll help. But the thing is, he'll have to set it up and then have to keep going for Earth Power, which I know it won't, it might, it won't, it'll be a 2 KO, Uncle Fable. And I'm going to hit it, hit it with a Draco as Mew takes it, like I figured it would. I'm going to go ahead and go for my own Dragon Claw now. As he sets up a sunny day, he was dead upon switching. He's going to switch in the heat train. I predict that go for the earthquake. That's game. Your GG SCD. I'm just call you Sid because I just want to call you Sid. GG Sid. You know what to do now, guys. Game's over. Comment, rate, comment, like, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Share with your friends. Anyways, a guy with first signing out. Peace.